Bombay is uh, pretty productive health care. I've been wondering, Bucket, uh, we may have not really been coming out uh, to, uh, to challenge uh, the government, to question the government, and to question the candidatures uh, about the lack of uh, government support on uh, a very important issue, which is uh, 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 a very, very important issue, which is uh, family planning services, modern family planning services that should be provided, that should be the, the responsibility of the government. But uh, as you know, the church has been impeding, church hierarchy has been impeding the government from providing these services. Okay, let me uh, give you a background. Uh, I've been studying this issue since uh, 1971, when I was in graduate school, so that's about 37 years ago. So uh, I, 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 I've done quite a bit of thinking and research on the issue of population growth, high fertility, and uh, economic development, poverty included. Uh, not only that, before I got into economics, I studied theology. So I, I actually have an honors degree in theology. So, uh, so uh, even though that I, I, have, uh, I have perspectives from both the economic side and the theology side, so that may be one uh, point uh, in my favor when I talk about this issue. So, so uh, okay, as, as a big plan to start with is uh, I'm happy of my, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, Tagalog is not my, you know, my uh, native language. I'm from Bohol. So, okay. uh, anyway, I'm uh, uh, na naman itong issue ngayon. But on, on the other hand, uh, malungkot ako na uh, we continue to be debating an issue that seems to be a no-brainer. Uh, it's the it should have been settled uh, decades ago, like it has been settled in other Catholic countries in Latin America in, and in Europe. So we are the only Catholic country I know of who is still uh, debating and getting stuck, or not not getting unstuck from this, uh, you know, commonsensical issue of uh, providing uh, couples and women who want uh, to achieve their desired family size the uh, correct or the, uh, you know, this is the appropriate type of family planning services. Uh, modern as well as uh, modern effective, modern less effective as well as traditional methods of contraception. Okay, so the problem I think is that uh, the Catholic Church bishops, uh, the Catholic Church hierarchy, uh, has been uh, developing a hubris, a uh, hotspot, a uh, kind of, uh, you know, I mean, you know, they, they have become so conceited because the government is supporting them. There is this unholy alliance between the bishops and the government, the present government. That is our problem, that we have to break that unholy alliance. And uh, I'm saying that uh, the bishops uh, should really be more careful about uh, making dogmatic statements. Or even the Pope has to be very careful about making dogmatic statements about contraception, uh, that it is a sin, that, is, that it is immoral. Uh, there is no, well, there is no dogma that I know of, infallible dogma of the church on this issue. Okay, and also the, uh, there's uh, an old saying in Latin which is errare uh, humanum est. To err is human. And the church has admitted over the years that it has erred in many instances. I'll give you examples which I'm sure you are familiar with. The first is the mistake on Galileo Galilei. Yeah. They condemned the poor because a uh, super scientist uh, in the, uh, in the uh, 17th century, you know about that, no? who said that uh, the universe is heliocentric rather than geocentric, okay? And so he was condemned, uh, and uh, so was Copernicus, 
and so was Giordano Bruno, the, uh, the Dominican ex-monk who was uh, impressed or who believed uh, the, uh, the theory and the, the, the finding of uh, Galileo Galilei and Copernicus. Uh, uh, Giordano Bruno was in prison and he was condemned to death by the Catholic, by the uh, Italian uh, Inquisition. Okay? And then so many, so many years later, so even uh, back, uh, centuries later, the church apologizes. In the meantime, you know, lives have been destroyed. The, 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 uh, the life of Galileo Galilei, the life of this uh, poor uh, Dominican monk, that's one example. Another example is uh, the, uh, the error of the church on usury. The church condemned the charging of interest on loans as a sin, okay? But then now that they have a bank in Vatican, the bank, the bank in Vatican charges interest. But anyway, well, what happened there was they also admitted that uh, it was a mistake on the part of the church to condemn the charging of interest on loans. It's a part of business, and so that's accepted now. The church, again, erred gravely on that issue. Another one is the uh, Spanish Inquisition. Spanish Inquisition uh, condemned a lot of Jews and Muslims, and in fact, uh, they were uh, they were considered heretics, and they were burned to death. So many lives were lost. Later on, Pope Paul VI, I think, uh, uh, just uh, this century or the past century, uh, 20th century, apologizes for the mistake. And in the meantime, so many lives have been lost. So many families uh, have been, uh, you know, yeah, so many lives and families have been uh, lost. Thank you. Uh, okay, so that's, uh, that's three uh, huge examples already. So if you go, there are a number of episodes in history that are marked by huge errors by the, uh, by the uh, church authorities, Catholic church authorities. And uh, I, uh, I can bet that uh, they will, uh, maybe someday, maybe uh, three, de three decades from now, apologize to women that they have, they have made a mistake on, in banning and, uh, you know, outlawing contraception. Uh, they, will, they will make that mistake, but so many lives, as our friend here from the Kabataran, uh, just gave some examples, a couple of examples, but I know that there are so many. Uh, women, uh, you know, in, in, uh, young women suffering from this condition. 